Welcome back, this is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to apply nodal analysis to determine the current IX. As always, we would select our terminals where we would apply KCL, but in this case, the terminals are pre-selected. So let's apply KCL at V1. So the KCL at V1, we see that V1 ref with reference to ground, so V1 minus 0 volts all over 2, or you could say just V1 divided by 2. Then we take V1 with reference to V2, minus V2 all over the 3 ohms resistor. Then notice that there is a 4 amp current entering into V1, and the current entering a node is a negative, so that's a negative 4 equals 0. At V2, we take V2 with reference to V1, that's all over the 3 ohms, plus V2 with reference to the 48 volts, so V2 minus 48. If the negative sign was, if the volt source sign was flipped, we would take V2 minus a negative 48, which would be a plus 48. In this case, it's negative because we're seeing the plus sign all over 2 ohms. And we take V2 with reference to V3. So V2 minus V3 all over the 6 ohms. And that's equal to 0. At terminal 3, V3, we take V3 with reference to V2 divided by the 6 ohms plus V3 minus 0 volts or we just call it V3 over the 4 ohms. Now we see that the 4 amp current left node um, left V3 so a current leaving a branch or a node a current leaving a node is positive so that's positive 4 amps equals zero. Now simplification of the three equations leads to, let's go over here, 24 volts equal 5 volts, which is 5 times V1 minus 2 times V2. Simplification of another is 144 equals negative 2 V1 plus 6 V2 minus V3 and we have negative 48 volts equals let's call this 0 and then say negative 2 V2 plus 5 V3 you can solve these equations by hand or you can punch them in a calculator but simultaneously solving these will lead to V1 equals 84 over 5 volt 84 over 5 volts V2 equals 30 volts and V3 is equal to 12 over 5 volts Hence, we can choose, in this case, we can go back up into the node equations and choose the current for Ix. Because remember, KCL at a node is a voltage divided by resistance is current. So we can go back up and choose V2 minus V3 in the node 2 equation. So this is the one I'm talking about. We can choose this. Because we notice that the six ohms resist the the IX is passing through the six ohms resi resistor, and V two with reference to V three is the voltage across that resistor, and if we divide the voltage across that resistor by that resistor, we get the current. So thus, IX is equal to V two with reference to V three. We can call that the voltage across the six ohms. 
divided by that 6 ohms equal to 4.6 amperes. And that's it. See you in the next problem.